set up that if our player collides with a rock it will be destroyed along with the player so events add an event click here we're going to add a condition all objects collision collision we're going to test for a collision between player ship and rock <coughs> okay so if those two objects are in collision with each other we're going to execute these actions add an action all objects objects delete we're going to delete the player if the player collides with a rock and add an action all objects objects delete we're also going to delete the rock that hits it okay next up we're going to add a laser for the player to shoot so right click add an object sprite we'll call it laser double click on it uh, we're going to add this laser here okay now we want this laser to be generated at the position the player ship is at so we're going to go back to our events here which is all the player movement oh actually no we'll make a new event so we'll add a new event we're going to set it on a timer so add a timer condition again we'll say you can shoot every 0.75 seconds and we'll call this shot timer okay then we're going to add a sub event add a condition keyboard key is pressed we'll make shoot z okay so when this timer is equal to or greater than this much oh just greater than this much and the z key is pressed first of all we're going to reset the timer so you can't fire too many shots at once so reset the shot timer and we're going to create a laser <coughs> at the player ship so all objects objects create an object we're going to create a laser at player ship dot capital X two brackets this is a function that finds the player ship X position and here we're going to add player ship dot Y two brackets capital Y two brackets don't forget the dot okay so that will um, create our laser and we also want to add another action all objects displacement add a force and this is the same as we added a force to the rock except we're going to add a force to the laser so the object is laser the angle is 270 because it's going straight up we'll give it a speed of 220 and again no acceleration or deceleration so that's one okay so now when the z key is pressed we should not be able to fire another shot for three quarters of a second it'll create a laser at our player position and shoot that laser up the last thing to do is to make that laser destroy a rock if it hits one so we'll add another condition like this one add an event the condition this time is going to be for collisions between laser and rock okay and we're going to delete both so all objects objects delete rock and the same again as an action all objects delete laser make sure we spell that right okay let's test all of this so our player should be deleted if he hits a rock our laser should destroy rocks and be deleted if it hits them and the z key should allow us to fire a laser so scene preview okay so z's allowing us to shoot a laser and it does de delete rocks when it hits them let's see if we lose the game if we hit a rock yes we do okay now you might have noticed one thing there in the scene I'll play it again just in case this laser is spawning here so we want to make it have a greater x position so it's spawning here instead and a greater y position so we'll close that now the difference between this edge and the middle you can see down here where it says position 
so that's about 304 that's about 333 so if we add 20 it should spawn in the middle so events double click on this one so we can edit it we're going to add plus 30 and the same here and now hopefully that will spawn kind of here preview and let's try our laser that's slightly better isn't it maybe a bit more on the Y position so the Y position could be a bit higher so events will just add uh, 60 there okay